the new American hero. Go! John Stamos is Stargrove. Stargrove! Vanity is Donja. Gene Simmons is Ragnar. Yeah! Never too young to die. Rated R. Okay, Stargrove, let's see that new routine. Come on. All right, more lift now. More lift. Good. Real tight. Are you feeling like breaking out? Let's take some height, Stargrove. All right, try it again. More lift. Good. Feeling adventurous, then you must put your trust not in a stranger. Playing your own game. Do it your own way. Keeping your own sound that you found going down. Playing like you play. Who knows what you'll find? You may not like it or not. But all that you find, boy, is all that you got. So cool. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 26 of the Video Rangers podcast. I'm Mike Spinaco. Sitting beside me is Chris Dietz. Say hello, Chris. Hello, everybody. And uh, we got a gem today, don't we? This is it's a cornerstone of John Stamos' career. Fine piece of American cinematic uh, amazingness. Amazingness. <laughs> Who I, I had no idea John, John Stamos was in a movie. Um, with Gene Simmons. With Gene Simmons. I don't know how I didn't... You know, I... I <laughs> Of all the I things, knew he was in a soap opera. Um, I knew he was in Full House. I think I've... Yeah, I don't know, man. This is... I've only geez. heard of it. I've never actually seen it. It's like it's like a unicorn. <laughs> Gene Simmons looks fucking ridiculous. Well, he looks like Tim Curry in like Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's like a... I guess they're doing a... It's like a James Bond movie. Son of Bond kind of thing. With Rocky Horror Picture Show mixed. And just paganism and... <laughs> Barbarians, medieval weapons in the modern day American culture. Poison the water supply. I'm gonna poison the water supply for gold, for ransom, for jewels, for money. <laughs> poison, poison, poison. Um, He's over the top. I mean, yeah. I get it, but I mean, it's like way over the top. First of all, to be the villain to be a hermaphrodite, <laughs> half man, half woman. I make sure they explain that to yeah. you. Just in case anybody didn't know. People don't know what a hermaphrodite it was, it is. It was playing in small towns across America. Maybe they didn't They didn't know what a hermaphrodite was quite yet. Shocking. Yeah. So uh, tagline for the movie is, He inherited all his father's enemies and only one of his friends. That's just that's just amazing right there. The beautiful vanity. Vanity is We're in this film. We're doing another movie with vanity in three. it. Three. We've done three. I think the second one this month. We got a thing for vanity over here, basically. <laughs> and she goes by vanity. She's like Madonna. Yeah. It's, it's vanity. Yeah. I, John Stamos uh, did like some interview where he said that she insisted on being called vanity. You know, yeah. you got to uphold your... Uh, well, her name's Denise, though. Is it? Yeah. Every time Stamos is in it, it goes, Stamos! Yeah. Stargrove. Stargrove. Yeah. Stamos. John, John Stamos plays Lance Stargrove. Might as well be Luke Skywalker. That's what you they're know? going for. It's just great. For like the catchy name, like James yeah. Bond. So basically, he's a, a top secret agent is murdered. So his estranged son, a high school gymnast, teams up with his dad's attractive female partner to stop the psychopathic hermaphrodite gang leader who killed him and now <laughs> is planning a major terrorist attack. So, you know, just strap yourself in and, and sit on that for a little bit, you know. So the alt-right? It's just, <laughs> it's just fucking nuts. For, you know, I got right when I got to the part where it said gymnast, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm sold. I thought it was going to be like Gymkhana. Oh, it's, oh, it's so Gymkhana, but not Gymkhana? nearly as well made. And that's saying something. I mean, it's not as... Gymkhana, he's doing a lot, way more gymnastic shit. Oh, yeah. But, like... Yeah, this has that uh, fringe of that. Yeah, uh, it's it's rated R. It's an hour and thirty seven minutes. It was released on June thirteenth, nineteen eighty six, with like a th- problem. They estimate a three million dollar budget. 
I don't think it made three million dollars. I don't think they we don't spent know what the three million dollars. Maybe on the food and uh, some of the gadgets they use because they look really fucking well. There's a lot of explosions, a lot of motorcycles. It's a lot of motorcycles. Um, medieval weapons don't. There's come a lot cheap. of people in it. Like yeah. just I don't, I'm sure a lot of extras and stuff. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of people. Well, a lot of guys just standing walking around, around, you know, in the background. Like, the, the, and he goes to school at the Vry. It looks like. <laughs> That's ITT I technical yeah, that's, what, that's what I picture it. That's yeah. what it looks like. All right, so the movie opens up with Gene Simmons in full drag, uh, and he's, like, standing in this kind of, like, think of the area from Dragnet. With the pagan you know, ritual. With the pagan ritual. The and, and, like, and the same kind of people, like, in the crowd. Yes. And they're just praising him, like, basically. Like, like punk rocker-looking people. And immediately, jackets. He, he, Gene Simmons proceeds to tell you, the entire what, the plot, <laughs> his whole scheme, what he's gonna do, and and, and there's a missing uh, computer disc. Yeah, Ram like, K. Like, why do they need to know that? And I like mm-hmm. how all the, his his minions are just like, huh? Yeah. What's the, what's a computer disc? You know, like they're all yeah. talking. <laughs> Like what's that? What does he? What does he mean? Is yeah. too, he's talking too intelligently for us. Yeah, and he's just. <laughs> Um, I don't know so what that means. They wheel in like a, uh, I guess like a, a woman that's part of their She's crew. That traitor who slept with Stargrove's father, who, who's the agent. original Stargrove. Yeah, the original Stargrove. <laughs> um, and basically, they try. They're trying to get this disc from her that has this code information. It's yeah. information. <laughs> And they, she keeps saying like, "No, not the finger, not the not finger." Not the finger. And I'm like, "What the fuck is he gonna do?" I was, I was like concerned. I was like, "What's he gonna do with his finger?" The middle finger. Yeah, but he, but he's got a really sharp nail. And he like stabs her with it, or he cuts her throat, or something. Not like, the finger. I know. I was like, "What are you gonna do with your finger, man?" I'm like. Is she gonna be okay? She wasn't. <laughs> she wasn't. And so now that we, you know, we've got the his Gene plan. Simmons. You're not expecting this from Gene Simmons, but after you watch it, you're like, you know, he kind of looks like Cher and like oh, Adele, or <laughs> and Adele. <laughs> What's that? Uh, uh, he did obvious <laughs> drag. He did open the movie with hello. It just, it, like it's it's he looks like he got big hair. He looks awful. Yeah. He he looks like um uh. Sweet transvestite from transsexual Transylvania. Yeah, he, he's yeah he's he's doc, Do, what is it what is his name Doctor Doctor Frankenfutter I think pretty much yeah um and uh, he kills people with a very sharp fingernail which is his coke fingernail or whatever that oh, is oh man I wish there was, this movie would be a lot better if there was cocaine in it there's I've no co- there theory, was pills there was I got a theory if there's cocaine in a movie it can do well like if there's like some kind of cocaine deal. I think Team Wolf 2 would have been a lot better Leave the weapon. If, if he had a cocaine problem, the wolf. And then he had to fight the mafia. Like, he, like Styles, was a, <laughs> he Styles was a cocaine dealer. And he got himself and way got too much the, trouble. He got the wolf hooked. And then he's got he, he's to save Styles and fight the mafia and fight his cocaine addiction. Way better movie. Ten times better. And right. original. We're going we're gonna to send that over to Warner Brothers, see what they have to say about that. <laughs> so right after he kills the fucking girl that doesn't have the disc we're introduced we're, to we go into our opening credits lance stargrove lance stargrove the best gymnast <laughs> the dunbar prep school has ever fucking seen dunbar and he's doing all kinds of cool little flips we're, and stuff we're getting, yeah the whole class and the wrestling team two guys from the wrestling team that resemble the two bullies i guess from like the way better shape but kind of like the weird science thing they're just looking at him like, fuck this guy. Like, you know? they're like little gay, like little faggy. Yeah, hand, these guys hand, are gay. gesture. Because they have insane upper body strength. Yeah, and, right. Yeah. <laughs> and they, insane you know, upper body strength. Yeah. We're talking about men's bodies. Yeah. Well, he must be looking for the gay bar. <laughs> and I, you know what I love about the 80s, though, is like wrestling was like, seemed to play a part in a lot of high school athletics to the point where it made it on screen a lot, if you think it about has. it. It has. We've seen um, a lot of wrestlers on Vision on Quest, Emilio Don, Estevez Don, in the fucking Boy Breakfast movie. Club, the Donkey Boy movie. <laughs> we did a No Holds Barred movie. I mean, wrestling, huge, huge, huge it's deal huge in the eighties. So fucking, these guys are waiting for Lance to be done with his flipping they practice. Give him a little shit, and they just give him shit, and he just gets the better of them. But oh, and we got yeah, we got teenage data in the window. 
Yeah, uh, Asian guy who knows electronics really well. Yeah, person. Exactly. <laughs> that's who he, he is. He can build things, and that's basically there's what his part. Of, there's lots of. I just know another. There's lots of bad jump cuts. I, I, oh, the editing. There's is like three or four that I've noticed. Piss poor. And there's no reason really for some of them. They just shoot the scene over again because it's like just like they're getting on a bike and drive away. Like why couldn't you just shoot that again? <laughs> yeah. I guess you know what you don't know. Something was wrong with it till editing, I guess, and then he's shooting it again. Yeah. But I don't know. It's just annoying. So he has to leave practice to go take his test, and he's got this really cool watch. It's like an early he version can, of the Apple Watch. He can, like, connect to someone else, like, talk to someone yeah. else. But, like, with a Casio-type monitor. He's ba- so he's, like, uh, texting. Yeah. How, I'm always texting. He's got three fucking buttons on the watch. <laughs> he's got, well, he's got a red and a green button, yes or no. Yeah. Um... <laughs> And his friend is like on the building, like next to him, sending him the answers for his test. Yeah, and it's really, but this is what they did in the eighties. They always had this like weird, like they technology. always like throw this weird technology in, like it's so, yeah. so far, like so far ahead, and you think it's really cool. And I, I, I think they're on the same campus as Hamburger the Motion Picture. It does look like it. It really does. Yeah, like we watch these movies back to back. I definitely know, but it looks the same. Yeah. You know what? Actually, I think there's a there's a Buster Burger sign somewhere back there. Um, <laughs> come on down to. It's like Buster the same Burger. year. It's around the same time. It's Buster uh, Hamburger Motion Pictures, like eighty five, eighty six. Yeah. Hungry for the burgers that make you full. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> you go back to like their fucking dorm room. He's got another invention. He's got a fucking flamethrower. Oh, it actually, it's like a grenade launcher. Yeah. He just builds it things. It looks like a flamethrower, yeah. though. Uh, and he's also... He's like Q from Bond. So yeah. He's just got all these inventions. He's like yeah. his guy. He's an invention guy. Yeah, he's guy. like Data. And it, yeah. I don't know even know why he'd have this, a transmitter to lo- like locate someone. To, yeah, well, he builds a... Uh, like uh, he, tur- he turns like gum, like the center... Hollows out gum, basically, and puts like a, a bugging oh, device Yes. in the center of it so you can and chew, you chew it the gum and, and stick, stick it somewhere. somewhere. Okay. All right, fine. I'm sold on the gadgets. Yeah, you know? it makes sense, uh, sort of. <laughs> but it is, it's funny, like we were talking about it, like uh, Peter Kwong plays uh, John Stamos' roommate, Cliff. Cliff. And he, Cliff. you know him from like Gleaming the Cube and, and Big Trouble in Little China? He's in Big that, Trouble yeah. in Little China um, there's, there's a part where it's like, Cliff, blow the wall! Yeah, his name's, he just doesn't, why he's, Cliff? Like, he should name him Yoshi. Yeah. Like said Yoshi yeah. or like, you know, like Yoshi or something or, or like some or kind of nickname. Suzuki or something. I just feel like they, the, the producers could have got way more racist with this. You know, it it, I know he probably was, it's showed still up a like, Japanese name. I know. It's not, so it's not, you know, it's, it's his name. It's not like you call him like Ching Chong. Listen, Ching I, Chong, blow the wall. I, I like my <laughs> 80s movies politically incorrect and I'm just saying. But like, hey, Yoshi, blow the wall. would have been like, yeah, okay, it's, he, yeah, it's Yoshi. Well, I think what happened was he kicked in the producer's door and said, I'm from Southern California, goddammit. <laughs> my name's Cliff. My name's Pete. Fair enough. Don't want a lawsuit on our hands. We're barely getting this, <laughs> buying this movie as it is. So. Uh, what was this guy? The dean? I don't know. The dean walks in and is like, "Teacher uh, person." Basically, ask uh, John Stamos if he is going to, if his father is going to be parent, present. Parent weekend or yeah. whatever. They're establishing that John he Stamos and his father are don't distant. see each other. They're much. distant, and he hates his father, but he doesn't know that his father is really a secret agent. No, he doesn't. He's Drew. He knows he's, he says his dad's coming, but he knows his dad's not coming. Yeah, his name is Drew Stargrove, and he's played by George. Lanzenby. Lazenby. Lazenby. Uh, and you'll know him from... He's, he's, he's the James first Bond. Ja- yeah, he's one of the first James Bond. Uh, he's James Bond. <laughs> How fucking cool is that? He went the first... I think, yeah, he was somewhere in the well, middle. He's, he's one of the... I think... Because uh, Doctor Knows is the first movie. Yeah. Well, he's uh, the only Bond guy to play Bond, I he's think, did it once. once. once, yeah. yeah. So you go to the, the next day... And you see, you're getting like kind of uh, two scenes going on at once where you have John Stamos's character, Lance Stargrove, uh, at the big uh, gymnast meet. And he's and like his, taping up. And he's taping up. And his father is in the Ghostbusters uniform, it's a, yeah. uh, ready to take out a huge cockroach. You're kind of going back and forth from that. And, you know, he's fucking, were, were they in a dam? They're going to blow part of a dam. Yeah, with Putty. He's with, he's with Carruthers. Carruthers. His partner. <laughs> Who? And some Real other suspicious looking character. I, I'm looking at him now. They're not liking and that beard his, too much. Uh, his nose isn't as big. That's, you know? 
Well, he's got a prosthetic. Yeah, he's got a prosthetic nose. Does he? Is that a prosthetic? I, I can tell in the eyes now that I'm yeah. looking at him. Yeah. He just looks something weird with he this looks, guy. He looks so, his his we'll get makeup is bad, though. His beard looks so bad. We'll, we'll get back to that. The but there's something so going on with that guy. I don't trust him. <laughs> well, he double crosses him here. At, well, yeah. At the dam. Yeah, he's just double crosser. But there's uh. something else going on. <laughs> so while uh, original or James Bond guy. Uh, Stargrove, we call Star, Stargrove. Stargrove uh, is uh, welding. He's part. The other partner that they're with gets hit over the head with a club, and Carruthers sneaks up behind him to take him out. And then there's going to wo- kill him. A little bit of witty banter while he's holding the welder, which is so fucking unsafe. Look at that thing. It's just pointing over there. That wall's made out of paper mache. Go like that. <laughs> <laughs> they get into a nice little fight. Oh, he's he's set up. By the way, totally set up. What's with all the Uzis? Everyone's got an Uzi in the eighties. Yeah, that's why it's like a mini mini Uzi, not those like big ones. That was the fake one that's that shot the ink that disappeared. Remember that thing? That's what what it looked like. Yeah, Yeah. the batteries in. Yeah, and then the ink didn't disappear, and your mom was pissed because you ruined your Easter outfit. (laughs) Uh, So okay, they break in. I don't even know why they're breaking into this dam, and then like. Uh, well, they're trying to stop uh, Ragnar. Mad Max fucking people start running at him. With, yeah. Who has a gun? Because he pulls out that umbrella. The yeah, bulletproof they umbrella. Run, who, if you have a gun, you shoot them far away. You don't run at someone with your gun. And then he pulls the, the bulletproof umbrella out. Yeah, if you're both holding swords, yeah, you're going to run at each other. Yes. I have a gun. You have a sword. You're running at me. I stop. I shoot you. Yeah. We both have guns. We run at each other. Yeah. You both look at each other, and your your eyes say <laughs> the same thing. I'm going to shoot at you from an acceptable so, distance. Yes. You know, like. so we have guns, and then there's like uh, medieval weapons for some reason. That's a, which play a big plot. Uh, big not plot, but part. Like, yeah. Everyone mm-hmm. seems that everyone's like from Mad Max in this movie. Well, you do the save villains, money on bullets, and they have like ball and chains and shit. Yeah, but so Stargrove Here's, gets shot in the leg. And, and he's part- wounded. And the other partner who woke up and got a, a concussion is taping him up. And then you show Stamos taping himself up. They're connected. So like, There's a bond. It's like 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 some kind of twin talk here. Uh, I don't know. It's fucking dumb. Yeah, it's very G.I. Joe. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, it's just... What are their names? You remember I can't twins? remember their they names. I know names. they were twins. They had fucking weird names. Yeah. Oh, God. I remember my one friend lost one, and he said that the other one kept him up all night talking about how he missed his brother, and he can just feel his <laughs> outside in the cold. I'm looking at the umbrella scene, the bulletproof umbrella. It doesn't really cover a whole lot. No, no, like, his no. whole his legs would be his done entire for. Entire legs, not even like his ankle, like his the bottom, like weight, his ankles. It's like his whole legs. Like shoot his legs. And at the same time, <laughs> the, just the integrity of the scene it is, is still terrible. held together. It it's it's really bad. They it's really so look fucking like the good. Ghostbusters too. Oh, they do definitely. <laughs> Which came out like two years prior to this. They really do. Yeah. So, so he gets captured. Um, yeah, he gets captured and surrounded by uh, fucking road warriors, and he gets his big sit down with fucking Doctor Frankenfutter <laughs> or Ragnar. Ragnar. Uh, and they're like old enemies, basically. Yeah, they've been yeah. Cl- this is like. Uh... But I love what he, I love what he says years. to him though. Like you know, he sits him down. And he's just like, "Well, th- this is stupid. <laughs> this is stupid." Program this was stolen from me, Stargrove. I believe you've got it. Oh come on, this is stupid. You're right. Very stupid. Like who wrote that? Who, who said? There's lots of bad lines. In this this fucking is movie. stupid. Uh, and he. It's just it's just so funny because it's like he's telling him like what he's gonna do and then he just like threatens his son but he has to confirm it. Did you just threaten my son? Well, I threatened your wife too and I killed her too. Yeah. And like, what? Stargrove's a little bit too smart. He's got a, a mousetrap device in his. I don't know. They won't let him reach in his pocket for it because you know they yeah. know he's a secret agent. They'll have a gadget. So if someone else does and he like makes a move and his guy's hand like bleeds immediately. Diversion. He throws like some kind of incendiary device. You know, Meanwhile, some the stupid factory. The gymnast meet is still going on. We're going back and forth between this and the gymnast meet. Uh, John Stamos is on the rings and he's doing he's doing great. He's got a triple indie going. Gene Simmons fucking ends up just blowing away. He just he just blows him away. You know, just <laughs> blasts him away. And he's looking over him with such contempt. 
And oh, when he, he hits the ground, Stamos hits the ground. <laughs> and you get a maniacal, just like me, a, a big uh, maniac laugh from fucking uh, Adele. I mean, uh, Gene Simmons. Adele. Simmons, <laughs> he called him Adele. Sorry. <laughs> so right after uh, Stamos hits the deck and fucking uh, his father has now been sh- Fast shot down. forward to the funeral. The funeral. Stamos and uh, his father's lawyer go over He can't be told who these people at the funeral are. They're just associates. He knows nothing about his father. He just feels like everything's a secret. And then the beautiful vanity is uh, shown in the most inappropriate. She's in like outfit. A black lingerie with see-through parts. Yeah, like, it, like, it's not what... Like, like dress. Like all veil, black veil. Yeah. Like, but see-through like parts. And it's like... Who the fuck would wear that to now, a funeral? Now, her color choices were correct. You wear black, it's a funeral. But yeah. just, you know, hey. Uh, Everything's see-through almost. A little not. less transparent there, Vanity. We got, I'm Anywho. sure there was a kid, you know, somewhere around there. Uh, this is actually a really famous and, cemetery uh, that they film in. I'm sure it is. Yeah. I think uh, this is last action, last action hero, I'm sure. And it's, uh, it's like I the big one in L.A. Terminator 3 pulls the guns out here, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of giant monuments. John Stamos' eyes eye. are red as fuck. Oh, yeah. He threw salt in his eye or something. I don't know. They're red. He's been smoking or he's been rubbing his eyes for like an hour. <laughs> I got to nail this part. I got to nail this crying scene. Yeah. I'm sick of working on daytime television. I'm going to go work on nighttime television right after this. I'm going to be a big movie star. Uh, Nope. But at least I get to fuck vanity. (laughs) Because that definitely (laughs) happened. Yeah, it certainly seems... uh, They they have a a make-out scene later. And holy shit. I think it was a porn make-out. Yeah. The way she sticks her tongue out. Good job, vanity. Yeah, she was probably high. I'm sure she... You know, hey, John Stamos ain't... Ain't fugly or anything. Oh, beautiful, so, beautiful Greek man. I'm sure you must have fucked there. <laughs> We're talking about me- I love men. I've learned that his Stamos is not his original last name. It's yeah, good luck saying that last Stamonopoulos name. Stamonopoulos or something. Yeah. I'm Greek and I'm having trouble pronouncing it. <laughs> we end up finding out from the lawyer that he, John Stamos, has inherited, inherited. his father's secret farm retreat. That he had no idea. No about. idea. And, he's, and he decides he's going to take his fucking motorcycle, his dirt bike. To it's got check the place out. It's, it's, oh, it's, street, it's street, street legal. legal. Yamaha. <laughs> and uh, Vanity's already there uh, riding horses. Yeah, then you go to the actual farm and Vanity is there riding horses. And she's uh, in the barn. She's just, you know, patting it down. Well, yeah, doing horse farm stuff. And then fucking... The, the door's open. It's like... A caveman walks in. Exactly. <laughs> what the fuck is he Who wearing? He walks around like this. Nobody. You I, would be I get... <laughs> pulled over immediately. Yeah. So some fucking freak from some festival shows up. Yeah, he's definitely from Burning Medieval Man. Times. Burning Man shows up. Um, Conan the Barbarian. Oh, God. Yeah. So, he, but it's great because Vanity jumps up on the... Um, she's got like one of those like spinning, like rotating like doors, doors. Yeah, she it, spins on to her like safe a gu- room with all the guns. Gun room. Which is cool, you know, and she fucking pulls her gun out and stuffs his face in horse shit. Then Another, more of them come in and she gets... Uh, now they got her. They got the upper hand yeah. on Vanity. The old switcheroo here. Yeah, and they threaten to rape her, as you do. Of course. You know, but yeah. John Stamos happens to be Shows up on his up. Honda. Uh, He's like, hey, what's going on here? What are you guys doing? <laughs> Uncle Joey what's was like, what's going on? Uncle Joey shows up. Cut it out. <laughs> you guys are too much. Cut it out. You know, Deej, you shouldn't play with guns. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have shot your sister. Uh, <laughs> so fucking they're shooting all these guns and they knock over one of those like oil lamps and it sets the hang on fire and you see oh, there's, there's, there's a fire and there's a grenades box yeah. and it blows up so oh, the whole barn goes up yeah but Vanity lets out the yeah, it's gonna blow get out of here it's gonna blow Star Yo, God, I forgot oh, about that. Oh, the acting is It's gonna superb. blow! Like, like, you're playing guns in your backyard yeah. when you're like eight, and like, it's gonna blow! And you run, and you dive out of the way. That's oh, what yeah. it was like. They, they were just playing guns And for John like Stamos is like, what the hell did I inherit? The name Stargrove. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next scene, like, John Stamos is like walking in the house with her, and he was like, people are trying to kill me like, like permanent dead. Like permanent dead. Oh, God. <laughs> hey! What the hell's going on here? What do you mean? 
What do I mean? People are trying to kill you and me. Like a permanent dead, you know? Don't worry about it. It's just oh, great. Oh, Lord. Vanity takes her shirt off. She's Hooray! In her, she's in her bra uh, doing me- med- getting medical attention. You see her chest circles? Oh, that's nice. Chest circles. Yep. <laughs> see them right there. Uh, and okay. John Stamos is like walking around the house and he's seeing like pictures of his father, like this life, all, that, all, this yeah. life that he didn't know. He has existed. no idea. Yeah. It's a um, secret life. And I felt for him. Yeah. A little tear in my eye. You know, I was like, John, man, that's fucked up, dude. Uh, Vanity is just, you know, John Stamos character technically is in high school in this movie. Vanity's obviously like her father's like partner. 20 something. You know, and at least put, put a shirt on Vanity. Be a little classier than this. It's a fucking student in the room. Not. He's, well, I mean, hey, man, sex sells. It's 80s. That's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, so they're uh, apparently not expecting somebody to come down the driveway and the, the alarm, alarm goes, goes off. off. And uh, Vanity Carl jumps, alarm. grabs a gun from fucking above the, the oven. And it's Carruthers. It's Carruthers. He's a friend. It's okay. So you, Well, he's the one now, who double-crossed him at the dam. Yeah, but Vanity doesn't know that. And yes, neither does Lance. No one else knows us. We know it. And they are having the... The conversations in this movie are so <laughs> fast paced. Yes, the they li- speak so quick yeah. in this conversation. Before one person can end they his slow line, the fuck yeah, down. No, yeah, no one's stepping on this each is other's really lines. bad acting. This is like exploitation film style like, acting. Slow the fuck. How does the director not like? Hey, hey, slow it down a little bit. Well, I don't think the director worked much, but this is where we get the let's explain what a hermaphrodite is, and it's so For fucking funny. We, we 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 rewound that like what like three times. Yeah, out of here. It was it fucking was fucking funny. great. Any idea who could be behind this? Ragnar. Ragnar? The hermaphrodite? Half man, half woman? I thought he disappeared years ago. Awesome. <laughs> but Vanity goes up and changes into her, her evening dress. And normally when I see somebody come out in a dress like that, I'm expecting them to go to some exclusive ball but, invitation yeah, only. Yeah, I would think so. Like, no, I, she goes to the bar from he- No Holes Barred, but like Kind worse. of. Worse. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Sponsored by Miller High Life. They should have had Twisted Sister in this. Oh movie. yeah, man. Right. I don't, in '86, though, I don't think they were trans, quite there. Trans, like, why not? That would have been great. I mean, but you've got bad dancing. You've got a guy with kiss makeup on going on in the yeah, back. They never just, like say what the gang's name is, but everyone, all the guys have these Ragnar? bikes with like. Is that that's, that's his guy's that's name. name? I don't know what but they, they got are. The, everyone's bike. Oh, they're turd a balls. Horse, horse head on it. He refers to them as my little well, turd balls. I thought he was just like fucking, you know. In the beginning of the movie, tur- well, yeah, but that's their name. I guess no, I just want to. I just want to give him a name. I figured that'd be it. They got like, uh, what is it? Carousel horses. Yeah, like the horse head on the motorcycle. Yeah. Hey man, it's kind of like uh, you know. That, that's put, actually kind of cool. a wing on your car or something. Totally. Kinda, I thought it we thought that neat. was cool though. It looked kind of cool yeah. actually. It's yeah, that different. was that was fine. You don't see that too often. A lot, yeah, a lot so going on this, there. It's a pretty big. It's like a basically a warehouse bar. I guess with a band yeah. playing and it's almost like an underground bring their bar. Motorcycles an inside the fucking place. Yeah, which I didn't get. Like that. everybody does, and it's just like Jesus Christ. Stamos and Vanity stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah, they don't. Uh, I mean, look at this. <laughs> they look like they're in Dynasty. He looks they're like fucking, fucking a, a rat, uh, fucking a shithole. He's dressed like Miami Vice. Yeah, Don Johnson and fucking like, Vanity. I, 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 oh, they're undercover. <laughs> Yeah, I I think they just totally know. they misread the bar they, just they were going stick to. Out like yeah, crazy. You just don't go to this kind of bar dressed that way. I mean, people are wearing leather and there's transvestites everywhere and fucking drag queens and oh man, and they're all there to see this great performance Velvet. from Velvet. That's the other thing. Like, there's just like, and I'll get into that later. But there, there's some character issues here, specifically with names. Some people have way too many names, you know. Yeah, well, you know he's got I mean? two names. Well, because you're oh, he got Velvet. Three names. Yeah, he's got <laughs> Velvet is also Ragnar, but to the as a performer, it's Velvet. Yes. Gene Simmons gets to show off some of his uh, singing talent. It takes a man like to be a woman like me. Yeah. <laughs> What 
actually similar to Rocky Horror Picture Show the way they they go about it. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. It really, I mean, I got to see a yellow stop sign in the background. That was that cool. Was pretty cool. You don't that see was that entertaining. No, never see those. It's like yeah, seeing uh, opening credit Bush. Never see opening <laughs> credit Bush. Vanity basically tells John Stamos that that might be the guy that killed your father. We think it, and that's where you get John Stamos's attention. Now that now he's like, I better dig deep down in my inner star grove. Well, I'm now I'm angry. Yeah, you know? now I'm really angry. Because, you know, he may have been a bastard, but he's still my father. I love the way he said that. You know, she's like, he, he screwed me, he screwed my mom, he obviously screwed you. Ooh, burn. <laughs> Slap to the face. Chainsaw to the dick. I, I gotta say, he does have fabulous hair still. Oh, he's got great hair. He always has. Yep. Wouldn't it have been full, like, kind of funny yep. had he gone bald? <laughs> it would have been great. Well, there was a big. That was like his thing. It was his hair. It was yeah, big, yeah. Well, one of his draws. The hair, the hair. Yeah, from right. Full House and stuff. Yeah. yeah, he wanted to jump out of a plane before he got married and put moose in his hair. It was a two parter. <laughs> Anybody remember that one? Before he yeah, married Anne Yeah, I remember Peggy? that one. He gets stuck in the tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not? Oh, that's great. I think that might have been the last season I watched. Yeah. <laughs> and I was too old for it. I was going out on Fridays. Uh, then, by then it was on Mondays. I, I had to go play Manhunt, you know. Oh, okay, the, that was the, great. The boys. Game. When I discovered Manhunt, that was changed my, changed my life. Uh, Vanity takes her time leaving because uh, the concert ends, and John Stamos walks out, and fucking she's just pulling out after you know after slapping. Yeah, her. well, that was a little time issue. Uh, yeah, the continuity not perfect. Whatever. But John Stamos decides that he's going to stick around, and he's one. See if gonna he gets tr- some information on yeah. Velvet. He says yeah. it's involved, uh, and he's he, gonna he she. So he he plants a listening device, the gum know, thing. Ask, yeah. As for uh, he she knows she, Gene Simmons knows who this is. Yeah. You know, Stargrove's kid. Rangar. So he's she's. He, I, keep, I don't know what to call it. It They're sounds playing. like a like an evil. Gene, I don't know, Gene Simmons is playing along, and uh, you know he goes in for like an autograph. I'm a fan, so then okay, plants the device, and while that, and they're looking for the disc. For the because it's a big plan. Did we even say this? The big plan was to poison the water supply. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's gonna poison the water but supply. But they need this special computer disc. I don't know why that they it was stolen from them. I don't know that this will. Fix the damn the, because I don't. Is there like a nuclear power plant nearby? No, it's just the trade the water. To... <laughs> it's basically like the water system for the entire city, and they're gonna, gonna poison, poison it, it for so, the next uh, ten thousand years or something. So they're still looking for this disc, and they're gonna. They basically uh, sabotage his motorcycle. Yeah, while he's inside talking to Ragnar. Yes. So he was gonna. Uh, so then Gene Simmons knows. Oh, he's probably listening. Yeah. He finds so he... finds the listening device. And so then, okay, uh, that's fucked. Um, <laughs> that's fucked. He's listening behind a dumpster. And so then he's going to go get on his Honda and some drunk fucking assholes give him shit about it. One of the bullies from the dirt bike kid. He has nothing to do with the gang. Yeah, he might as well, yeah right? <laughs> uh, so he just hops on his bike and, and uh, tries to turn it on and it explodes. Yep. So we got lucky there. Classic scenario. Got very lucky. And I love... Uh, the the people is uh, the people who work for um, Gene Simmons, they're like uh, firefighters. They're right on the scene oh, yeah. to put the fire out like immediately. really fast. As soon as like, that bike goes like up, the in garage flames. doors open up immediately. And everyone, oh my god, yeah. it's an emergency. We gotta fucking act quick. Yep, out comes ladder forty seven. Like what's get, what's and, going on here? I mean, they were on top of it, and I, I was telling feel like Chris maybe that, there was an accident, and like oh yeah, that, like, and these are stuntmen who were acting quickly because something went wrong. Yeah, and that's when they just kept it in the movie. Like some, they, some they nearby look panicked gar- a little bit. They kind of go, they're really quick about it. So <laughs> some nearby garbage on off screen caught fire, <laughs> almost burnt down Warner Brothers. <laughs> oh man! So John Stamos uh, runs back to his dorm room to borrow his roommate's bike. He had, now John Stamos had put a tracking device underneath Vanity's car. Yeah, they, yep. And by the way, her name is Donja. And uh, so he's able to follow it uh, and... He's chasing her down. Chases her down. But what he doesn't realize is like that, you know, people are looking for him and her. They get like ambushed basically on the road and she's pulling some fucking Fast and the Furious style driving underneath cars and... It's very Mad Max-ish. 
Yeah, it's Mad Max. Because then it's they, weird. They got nets and and archaic weapons. Yeah, <laughs> like and the funny thing is, like at one point they get up so close to John Stamos with the battle axe, and instead of hitting him with the blade, they tap him he with the other end. Him. Hey you. Hey. Like, hey, I'm yeah. right here. <laughs> it's like no, this is life or death here. It's not fucking road rash. You yeah. know, like yeah, right. He's just like <laughs> tapping him with a thing, like trying to knock hey, him off his bike. what's going on, buddy? Hey, uh, do you, do you see that uh, stop sign mile back there? Uh, you ran through that, buddy. <laughs> hey. Yeah, like it's just <laughs> it's so bad. The old ball and chain, and like really, all weapons that serve zero purpose in modern day, unless you're gonna torture somebody. I don't. Or know, scare like, the shit out of somebody like, that's battle. weapons. You're going to, like battle or something. Yeah, <laughs> with his brave heart attire. Uh, we got a fucking trucker that's listening to a Walkman, not even paying attention, and drinking alcohol, and drinking alcohol while as Vanity proceeds to drive her Corvette. Why does she do this again? Well, she goes underneath the tra- tractor trailer. Yeah, gets to the other side, but they don't know. The bikers are way ahead, so they think she's gone. Yeah, it's... and then she surprises them because she's under the truck. Surprise! Yeah, it's just. Why is she doing this? It's just just oh. Because then she just shoots them. She could have still been there. And what are they doing? They're on motorcycles. They can't protect themselves anyway. She could have just hit them with her car. She's driving yeah, a car. I don't know why she didn't hit them with her car. They don't have guns. They have no. a fucking battle no. axe. No. And the one guy's not even holding it properly. The blade's facing no, the wrong you know, way. They didn't want to you know, hurt the Corvette here. Yeah. Well, they rented it. Yeah, it was it due makes, back tomorrow. Honestly, it's the nice little stunt. It, but there's no reason for it. Unnecessary. Sometimes, you know, stunts don't... You can't just throw stunts in for the purpose of it. It's not like boobs. It's just to look cool. Boobs, you can throw them whenever you, can you throw want. Them anywhere. It could be you Christmas or Christmas morning. You can have your kids <laughs> opening up boobs. That's fine with me. <laughs> but just don't don't throw unnecessary action scenes in the movie. Care Bear Stare. However, the pacing of this movie is fucking awesome. We are it's, moving right it's along. Quick. It's quick, 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 quick. This movie is going to move faster bam, than the bam, podcast. Bam, bam, bam. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Exactly. Uh, and so Vanity, they, they basically fend these guys off. John Stamos leaves his bike behind, gets in the car with her and Vanity starts explaining to him like just exactly, you know, what her fought, why she's protect, trying to protect him. What the hell are you trying to do? Get yourself killed or something? Hey, cool it lady. I can take care of myself. I'm Don't sure worry you about can. it. Damn you. Your daddy was much more than just a partner to me. What he did for me and my family was much more than any human being could possibly expect from anybody. So for him, I've got to keep you safe. And that means keeping you away from me. Whether you like it or not. Do you understand? If they, why do they even have those two guys if they're going to ambush yeah. him anyway? So then they got like a spike strip. And it takes the car out. And uh, they get captured here. Yeah. And John Stamos ends up fucking waking up in his... Uh... What's, yeah, it's odd. They take her, but then they just leave him at his house. Yeah. But then there's two guys there when he wakes up that beat the shit out of him. Well, I'm guessing what happened the was... Is. I'm, they, I'm guessing what happened was they, they took her the to the base. There. They think the disc is there, so yeah. they took him okay. home. All right, when you wake up, we're going to find this fucking disc. But not before we bash the shit out of your head <laughs> oh, in the fucking sink. Oh, this is some here. Holy shit. And I can see Stamos saying, "I'm not doing that stunt. You know, you're not fucking it, up I'm, my I'm money." I'm pretty maker. sure it's not him. I mean, obviously, yeah. uh, the guy who probably isn't getting too badly hurt, but it looks—it's very. Uh, it looks painful. Like they're whipping him around inside yeah. the sink. You know, plates getting whipped, whipped like uh, plates are breaking, man. There's some shit. It, going it goes on. on pretty long too. Yeah, and these are like two retarded fucking henchmen who start fighting with each other in the middle of fight with him. Uh, but this is all like this is all build up for Stamos to find his inner star grove. He's now just... he is a gymnast. Yeah. He, as far as we know, he has no fighting skills. The wrestlers who taunted him before said, "Hey, we'll join the wrestle. We'll teach you how to wrestle." Yeah, but he can flip like nobody's business. But he knows how. You know, he's athletic, and he can flip and do cartwheels, and he, he knows how to tumble. Really um, good tumbler. <laughs> really good. He tumbler. gets his ass kicked here. And they're basically taunting him towards the end. He's a big pussy. And then he looks at a picture of his dad. And, him, and like a and little... Uh, they have uh, like a family charm. emblem. Of Similar the to what uh, fucking... Um, the Stargrove emblem. Whatever it is. Like some of the medallion. You know, I'm a prince. Lone Star! <laughs> <laughs> Found it in a Cracker Jack box. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm a prince. 
I'm a full-fledged prince. That's what this means. <laughs> uh, so he gets totally motivated, and something just clicks in his head, and um, he can fight all of a sudden, and he's kicking ass. Yeah. He does the old uh, karate kid on your back, flip on your feet. Oh, yeah. Kind of move. Which everyone tried to do afterwards. Yeah, and when you're 12, you can do it. Well, the only thing I could do is I could get on my knees and then hop up on my feet. Remember yeah. that one? That yeah. little move? That one was, that was a cool good. one. I, I couldn't do that one, though, when you're on your, fully on your back. That one's tough. Um, and he proceeds to beat the shit out of these guys. And do Jim Cotta moves. Yeah, Jim Cotta moves. I think this is like the only scene where he actually good. does any of this stuff. Yeah. I know yeah. that. It's, they it's, really it's, it's, it's done. Don't utilize a whole lot of his acrobatic abilities. After that, it's over. There's no. He doesn't do anything. There is stuff at the end, oh, but a little bit. Yeah, little bit. It's not. Well, you, not like Jim Cotta, where they really it's take fucking everywhere. Yeah. Well, that's uh, the whole movie. Like, yeah. This guy's a gymnast. Fucking sell it. Exactly. Yeah, and <laughs> it, to some degree, it works. You know, it's a, it's a fun movie, but uh, so John Stamos throws these guys out of the second story window, grabs himself a shotgun as they run off. Well, they're already gone. Well, yeah, he does wait for them to leave before he starts, like, really they're talking. Talk. And they can't hear him. Yeah, they can't hear you, John. The name's that scumbag. It's Stargrove. Lance Stargrove. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. So then he, you know, finds his magic medallion, and he's looking through the house. Getting, took a shower. He took a shower. He was Vanity's there. still missing. Takes a shower, gets dressed. Is where he finds, like, the secret, um... But the secret compartment, yeah. In his dad's but the way he house, finds it cabin or is so fucking stupid. He drops the the little uh, medallion medallion thing, thing that's go, that he's trying to put on his axe. necklace, yeah. And it just happens to roll across the floor to the exact special spot, spot where the he secret can, secret the bed slides to to the right, yeah. And there's a whole other room under there. You know, usually it's a bookshelf or something, man. Oh. You know, like. Or a statue, you lift its head up. Oh, it's his bed. It's his bed in this one, okay. <laughs> I guess that was the cheapest prop to build. Well, it's easy to we'll slide just slide this we'll down. Slide the, the bed's bed. already on wheels. You, you don't even see the hole yet. The bed Before the bed slides, they cut. Oh, yeah. And like, so, you know, obviously that'd be too expensive to do. Oh, definitely. I mean, And it's like fucking... Uh, well, he's got like... Uh, it's like the locker in Commando. we got locker of guns and... You know, awards and uh, confidential files. Yeah, listen. Like a study. Arnold can do what he wants. Stamos is, uh, you know, he's not Uncle you Jesse know, got, quite yet. Got, uh, Lyndon Meade Johnson and JFK yeah. signed pictures. So that was a big deal. And he has no, he had no idea until now. Yeah. And Well, he didn't even know about this place. No, I mean, so, yeah. he just knew he didn't work for an oil company. Yeah. He did more than that. He knew something was up. So his father's got these file cabinets that are full of confidential files and top secret and are also unlocked. I never understood that. Like, if the file says confidential or secret, doesn't that make you want to open it? Yeah. Like, if you want to really have somebody not open something, label the folder like I'm Dunkin' sure, Donuts receipts. I'm sure that's how they really do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's so... It just casually is like, this is something else. Like, yeah. And it's probably already... It encrypted it just it, you know you gotta put a cover over it to, something you know yeah. you, you, you can't read it it just re- yeah. it reads like normal you need like, like special glasses to yeah see something it along those lines yeah. something sec- fancy and yeah. spy like but the <laughs> the alarm starts going off again you could see like somebody's coming to the house on these monitors and it's he, koji oh i mean well cliff it's cliff <laughs> way better name yeah koji blow the wall <laughs> that's just more of an 80s movie name you know? Look at the gear he's got. I didn't even yeah. notice he had those gloves on. Jesus Christ, he's colorful. He looks like one of those... <laughs> he looks like a hot air balloon. That's he what looks he looks like. like. He, he has like those gloves that when you pour cold... When they get cold, they turn colors. <laughs> he's got those on. He's got red, yellow, blue, white, and green, and green on. Green pants. And suspenders. And suspenders. Like he, oh, my but God. But he brought back his flamethrower thing that he keeps working he on. He looks like puke. This fucking flamethrower is like the centerpiece of the movie. It was the prize prop of the movie. not even a flamethrower. It shoots... It basically flare shoots gun. a grenade. It's a flare gun, it's like, yeah. It shoots like a grenade out or something. And then sometimes it dribbles out. But all the money went to... It's weird. He said, this prop. The I thing don't... is, he said it was a laser... It was fueled by petrol, yeah. but it's like a laser something. Yeah. And it just kind of shoots a grenade out and just blows up stuff. Yeah. But it's, I thought it was... It looks more like a flamethrower. Yeah. 
Whatever. Then it stinks. We're introduced to uh, Robert uh, Ingold's fucking character, which is awesome that he's who a, I, in I, this. Who I think he just did as a favor. Oh, it's definitely a favor. For somebody. Um, he's, he, he, he's the guy that's designing this entire bomb that's going to. I'm sure he was there for a day. Yeah. Chris scenes. He doesn't have many, but he's in the same spot at least twice for two different scenes. And... <laughs> the fucking two henchmen come in that just got their ass kicked. And they were just like, oh, and Gene Simmons is like, where's my disc? He's like, oh, he beat us real bad. See, blood. <laughs> blood all over my face. <laughs> and he gets the finger. He gets the, the spike, he calls it now. It went oh, from the, is that the yeah, finger? Yeah, it was the finger in the beginning of the movie. Now it's the spike. They, they, cha- they, they changed they it. They changed it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. He squared us real good. Velvet, see blood. No, Ram K. No. Not the spike. Not the spike. No spike. Please. There's a character that has three names in this movie and a fucking killing device that has two names. <laughs> you know? What is hermaphrodite? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Half man, half woman. I should have known right then and there yeah. that he would have played a woman in one scene and played a man in another. Or something. Yeah. But he never, plays a, he never plays a female successfully looking. No. And then we see fucking Vanity is being put into an oven it's that for some reason oven. has fucking an intercom on the inside. It's, it's like an intercom. They can yeah. talk to her. Yeah. It's like, so talk, you can listen to talk her, her scream. burn. Talk her burn. And it's like... It's getting hot in here. Yeah. She she, she yells like... Of course it's getting hot in Like there. she's in the closet. It's yeah. getting kind of hot in here. Yeah. Could you... All right, guys. Stop fucking around. Can you turn it down? I just bought these boots. It's getting hot in here. And then... It's like 600 yeah. degrees. Should have been now, dead. Stamos and fucking Cliff fucking show up. We don't know how they found them. We assume that... I don't know. We, whatever. We might have missed that part. I don't know how they found them. I think people. they cut that scene out. But Possibly. They... Again, use the goddamn fucking flamethrower to blow open the door. This is the part where, Cliff, blow the wall. Oh, yeah. He's blowing people up, and then uh, then it doesn't work, and they run away, By and the then way. it works again, so he blows them to shit. But John Stamos looks awesome with a shotgun. He's like a fucking surgeon with that yeah, shotgun. Yeah, he's fucking amazing. I mean, they're taking their time. I mean, Vanity is like burning alive in this fucking uh, yeah, she, oven. She would have been dead. Yeah, because that thing, sure. that thing almost went to full temperature. She would be dead. It was like middle temperature. I mean, yeah. that's, you know, it was like some in, in, industrial place. Yeah, I mean, this is where they like it's not make like, It's steel. not like 150 degrees in there. It's like yeah. it looks metal. So, his, his stupid little device looks so bad when it it's fires. It's so dumb. It looks like a paintball. It's kind of like a super soaker. <laughs> it is a little bit with the two with tanks two, with two tanks it was like higher than the 150 it, it model or whatever bad. the fuck it was they're able to fend off uh all the criminals uh <laughs> the criminals. and yeah the, the, the street toughs the street toughs and uh then they're they're able to save uh they vanity save vanity just in time her clothes she's are a little like third degree burns she's okay though her clothes are a little bur- she was wearing suede no yeah it's very cooling yeah yeah and she had her jordash jeans on she got no bra on no no. From here on out, it's how much va- cleav- <laughs> cleavage can we show? It's not vanity. It's slutty. Come up with that one yourself? Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, man. We edit that. We probably shouldn't. Um, okay. <laughs> so now they're going to fucking escape. All three of them. The, uh, you know, Stamos, Vanity, and the human parachute. They jump on the four-wheeler. jumps on the bike. Yeah. And, They've got uh, machine guns. And there's... <laughs> It's very eighteen ish. Yeah, <laughs> only people right, are well, actually that... getting hit. Yeah, it's that's the thing. It's a action it's movie, like a TV show, but shot on a TV budget. right? Yeah, that's what it's, it's like. Eighteen ish. If they just ported the A team <laughs> like, to TV to the movie screen, that's what it would look like. This um, would have been great if you had uh, Gene Simmons and maybe Mr. T is like the tough guy body, you know, his side man, yeah. his right hand man, with Mr. T. Mr. T was too much money. Uh, yeah, Couldn't get I guess him. So. so fucking, we're in uh, like a, a safe house, I guess, or, or like meeting that. room. Um, and you've got Stamos, Vanity, Cliff, uh, Crothers, and the lawyer who ends up being really like the director of the they FBI. They come up with a plan to le- use them as bait yeah. to bring out, uh, what's his name? D- Darar? Uh, Ragnar. Ragnar. Because uh, Crothers thinks that like uh, Ragnar is not going to stop. He's going to yeah. come back for this disc. So it's like, all right, well, why don't we... Stand and, um, off in the woods somewhere. Stamos is uh, yeah. suspects Carruthers. Oh yeah, he does. Uh, 
uh, maybe a traitor. Yes, he does. Well, he is because he. Well, and the audience knows he is a traitor because he tra- uh, Yeah, but he but figures it out real he quick. Figure out something and not right. blows Vanity's mind to the point where she's like, "Oh my God, you are a Stargrove. Take off your pants, cock and mouth, please." <laughs> I'm impressed. You really are a Stargrove. I haven't had a chance to. Thank you for saving my life. You play your part well, don't you? I'm not playing. That secret agents weren't really ever supposed to care for anyone. gone way beyond that for me vanity trying really fucking hard to seduce john stamos yeah she really um, hard she comes on strong in movies she's in she's in a little outfit and it drops that down to a little bikini and uh she follow starts, that by she's wetting herself down and taking her top off she's got like a garden hose just like just and going all over man. so the whole time this is happening stan was looking at her and he's doing something else he's looking at her and then she turns around topless and well, he like goes into straight like oh he starts high eating apples boner guy yeah have mercy runs at her and fucking starts making out well with her. i don't really blame him though for taking his time because the way she's holding that garden hose and letting the water hit on her he's probably like do you want me to have sex with you or do you like to get pissed on which one is it <laughs> hey i'm into kinky stuff I'll do whatever yeah. you want lady vanity was into some wild stuff so uh, hey here do hey you do some you want to do some blow off my cock oh yeah <laughs> i prefer to do some crack with i'm the sure she'd love that oh yeah I'm sure she's done that. Actually, I already did that three times today. But no, thank you. Finally, they embrace and they go into that that kiss scene you were talking about, uh, where fucking he runs out of full speed yeah. to make out. We're like, oh, I see your titties. Oh, I must have you. Yeah. Uh, and Meanwhile, he's just a high school senior. He'd be all about yeah. immediately fucking her. And she's a trained <laughs> agent. Yeah, he can really hold himself back. You kidding me? Jesus, Stamos. He'd be all over. He acts like he's Who fucking 30. Kidding? Yeah, when you gotta think about it. Like, well, I can have Dude, sex high or I can school kid. go he play act, some he video He acts games. nothing like a high school kid. I thought he was in yeah. college. Yeah, I did too until I did a little research. I was like, oh, he's in high school. Um, but... So they finally start making out, and Stamos picks her up, and we get some really sexy saxophone music. Sexy saxophone. Uh, (laughs) We get the uh, vanity's tongue gets stuck out. Lots of people. I mean, obviously, you knew you were going to see Gene Simmons' tongue. Yeah. I didn't know I was going to see vanity's tongue so much. Yeah. Very uh, little homage. <laughs> very like like it's probably one of her sex moves that she used when she actually has sex with people. Oh, yeah, I believed every bit of what she her performance. Yeah, I gotta say, yeah, Th- that's just, the best acting she's was, ever done. It was pretty good sex scene. Yeah, like just making out, and no, doing nope. the whole going about the, the no bush, no, no runway, none of that. No, just just um, a topless scene, topless and scene, and a bit of a wedgie. Uh, she was wearing granny panties though, uh, and. So they're inside the art. I guess they're an art. The the agency or whatever the F, the secret Carruthers, agents, uh, brothers, and everybody else is up on the hill. S- send the um with binoculars watching this. So well, they they helicopter down and they replace well, them. Well, Carruthers with lookalikes, and then the other guy who is um who works who worked with Stargrove, who's the trusted guy, binocular. He can't tell the difference. Yeah, no, because they're behind bushes. They, and they stuff. well, no, yeah, that too. But it's, which and they have the same idea. clothes on. Position yourself behind they, bushes so, so you can't see them. They get kidnapped. Carruthers kidnaps uh, Stamos and Vanity, and and Carruthers they, knocked out and the other, uh, and, Yoshi. Yes, he got Cliff. knocked out. His name's Cliff. Cliff. <laughs> but so and then uh, they think everything's going as planned. The people in charge. Yeah. So Carruthers is on the on the uh, the old horn with uh, the base, and they're in the helicopter. And this is where we get our our plot twist, the our major reveal. unveil, the, the big, big reveal. reveal. Fools everybody! It's not Carruthers. Carruthers is Ragnar. And Ragnar! <laughs> My God, it is Ragnar! Finkel Holy is 
Einhorn. Shit, yeah. Einhorn is Finkel. I was... Sh- I, it it kind of... um Took Chris by storm. Took the breath out of my fucking yeah. lungs. The guy who usually figures it out before anybody. <laughs> I couldn't fucking... I, was I wasn't... Here, I was sitting here so patient, though. Like, he's going to... I thought in the first two seconds, you were going to be like, this is fucking stupid. I was waiting the, for it. Honestly, when I, the first time he comes on screen, Carruthers, I'm like, that is the worst fucking beard I've worst ever seen. Wig Why ever. didn't they just have the actor grow a beard? Why would they put a fake beard on him? So, I'm... And he got a prosthetic nose. He ain't, fight, he ain't hiding Gene Simmons' nose. No. So, they definitely, okay, they got me there. But now, I'm looking at Carruthers after, after the fact... And like you can see it in the eyes that it's Gene Simmons. Yeah, the voice. Um, it's all. But it, 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 yeah. I wasn't expecting it. No, no, it got be, me because the beard is so bad and the wig is so bad. Yeah, I just, that you're just like staring at that. I, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, why? Great disguise. Why is he wearing that? I Good just, dog, Gene. Got me. I didn't call it. Oh, I, that's I, right. I, I couldn't figure this one out. You're forgiven. <laughs> I forgive you. Uh, so they they bring back Vanity and Stargrove. To uh, the dragnet pit, from, the dragnet pit, or whatever, wherever they are, the the planet That's of the like apes the secret pit. pit, yeah, the yeah. planet of the apes, and they bring him in in the cage, you know, and they're throwing fruit at him, like yeah, they're fruit th- at oh, him. what's great is uh, <laughs> um, fucking uh, Ragnar is throwing drugs to his his yes. patrons. He's got a barbiturates. Like, there you go. Here's hey, some, some amphetamines. Some yeah, you need an upper, you need a downer. I got greenies and reddies. Yeah, <laughs> I got some yellowies over here. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, who brought the weed, you lightweight? Oh, you know? man. So, and, uh, this is what they're going to, they know they're going to die. So, he challenges the one must really big muscle head to a fight. Who it was the guy who got his face pushed in horse shit earlier. He's like, he's kind of like the right hand man of uh, um, Gene Simmons' character. Hey, you Japanese fruit fly. Me? You talk to me? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's pretty obvious when you and Miss Pris up there get it on who's on top. I just wanted you to know that. Oh, yeah, you're real tough with your little boneheads around. But, correct me if I'm wrong, the last time I saw you, I think this pretty little girl had your face in horse shit. Yeah, I am right, horse shit, yeah. What I'd like to know is how you'd react on a one-on-one basis with a real man. That's, that, that's me, you know. Shut up. You might as well be saying, hey, Christmas tree. <laughs> you know, it's just... <laughs> I always got a dumb haircut, the fucking oh, muscle guy. Oh, it's the worst. That's not even hair. That's like, a, like some weird that's some... fucking mushroom looking hair. I don't yeah. even know. Like a skin fade with long hair. I don't know. It's the weirdest thing you dumb. ever saw. So. Yeah, dumb. With an you awful know what his mustache. hair looks like? It looks like the top of like a Roman warrior it's like helmet. A, almost like a ca- uh, a troll doll. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I did with the see sides like, cut. He did have a jewel in his belly button. <laughs> <laughs> did he? Um, and. So he challenges him to a fight, and the gymnast skills come back into play. Yes, because he gets like uh, knocked down and like, or he, what does he do? He kicks him, falls, grabs a gun, and blows him away. He just blows him yeah, away. He, he steals a gun from someone in the crowd. There's other people who have guns there, and he just sh- shoots him. Shoots people in the crowd. Shoots more people in the crowd. But they're on drugs. But no one's firing at John Stamos. <laughs> like they took a lot of drugs, man. I guess so. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they're very smart. No. If someone's firing at me and I have a gun, I'm firing back. You should, as you should. I don't care if it's John Stamos. Yeah. Stamos. <laughs> Star Grove. Mr. Mrs. Stamanopoulos, <laughs> Mr. Papadopoulos, I want to take you for a walk around the table. <laughs> <laughs> now we are married. Break plates. <laughs> Opa, <laughs> we got our Greek puns in there. <laughs> oh, we Opa. can do this all day. Opa, should have came over to my house for Orthodox Easter. <laughs> I'm eating lamb and all the fucking you know everybody else is looking at Gyro. us. Gyro. Like, did you, chase, did you chase the lamb around the, in the no? We, in the backyard we we don't do that. We, we the neighbors asked us to stop that oh, practice. Okay. Um, while uh, Stamos is is like taking out this whole crew, we get the fucking helicopter coming up out of nowhere with the army to save them. And the guy, this guy's got a machine gun attached to the uh, helicopter cord. with bungee cords, which you know I get it. It's it's heavy, but I mean usually they're mounted. You know, so you can swivel them around. This is just bungee cord attached to the to the helicopter they rented for the day. 
Gene Simmons and Robert Engel. Uh, Robert Engel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's still funny. Yeah, I know. Uh, escape into the Dragon's Lair. <laughs> and, or their, their secret. Uh, they were going back to the Technodrone. Um, they start working out how they're going to do this plan because their plan has been interrupted a bit and they have to speed things up and they need to basically contaminate the water remotely through using some type of radio. They make like a break for it and Stargrove and Vanity are fucking like right behind them. So they're right on Gene Simmons's tail and fucking Cliff. Cliff's still got this flamethrower. He's fucking obsessed oh, yes. with it. Uh, Gene Simmons uh, leaves his whole fucking crew behind and gets Tell in the... They the, got to the, cover him. Yeah. Gets in the they, fucking... You know, uh, they die for him. The truck uh, from uh, Duel. <laughs> and, <laughs> this, uh, and Stamos gets on another motorcycle, again without a helmet. Uh, to Dangerous. chase him down, Vanity uh, is like running back to with the other sec- Some the, soldier guy. There's like a soldier that you see a couple times, uh, and they're running to back to the helicopter, where Vanity is given the flamethrower Cl- again. Cliff gives him the grenade launcher yeah. thing, and now they're all in pursuit of Gene Simmons uh, Ragnar, who is on his way to blow up this dam and contaminate the water forever. To quote Cliff. Forever. Here's the thing. He goes to the dam with this computer. Why does if he has a computer? Why does he have to go to the dam with it? Wouldn't you just be able to do it on your computer from anywhere? Shortwave, shortwave know, radio. You know. Okay, he pulls an antenna up. You're Wasn't right. a whole lot of towers. There is, I he guess, pulls a little then. antenna up on the computer. Whatever. We're pre-internet here. You know. Yeah. There's no Wi-Fi. Yeah, I mean, you know? yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't exist really. There was cell phones, so it, it theoretically, exist, you could have doesn't. attached a cell phone to it. It doesn't exist commercially. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Big money. Radio Shack didn't have those so, yet. Yeah, I guess you got to go all the way to the dam to do this. The, all, uh, the, all the way to the Hoover Dam. What's great about this is this is where you're going to get the showdown from, from Stamos, showdown. Stargrove, and Ragnar. Sounds like a fucking He-Man villain, doesn't he? Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, like, Mer, He-Man? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> was, wasn't the the Shira villain named Reg Ragnar or well, something? I don't remember. He has a similar name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, what was his name? It was like Ragnar or something. I, I don't know. Yeah. It wasn't that. Before but the end of the show, similar. we got to get that name. Shira, Shira. I am Shira. <laughs> Only a few others this secret. Among them are Life Hope, Madame Raz, and Kaoru. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda! So Gene Simmons is uh, programming, on his word processor, yeah. uh, programming the bomb. <laughs> Shitty word and processor. Fucking Stamos is on a motorcycle, yet hair not blowing in the wind. And, <laughs> mm-hmm. and catches up to, uh, well, like Gene Simmons, is, Ragnar is hiding behind something. And he and as he passes on his motorcycle, uh, Gene Simmons uh, sticks a, uh, not before he smells a flower, Sticks a fucking pipe in his uh, like, spokes, yeah, yeah. and the makes uh, makes him crash. Thing. John Stamos is like fucking dangling from the pipes or whatever. He's holding on for dear life, and he, he climbs back up. Ragnar is trying to hit Stamos, but Stamos is such so light on his feet and so flexible that he's able to dodge it all. <laughs> and this is when Ragnar goes into his fucking speech about how he's half man, half woman, and he's. Better than Stargrove. Yeah. Can't you see the greatness of me? I'm female and male, man and woman. I'm better than you are! Yeah, but don't you understand something? You're only half of each. I'm a whole man. So if you'll excuse me, I don't have a lot of time here. I gotta save the world. Which I think Stamos has some shitty kind of line he says back to him. Nothing spectacular. Oh, don't worry. We'll play He should have said... Well, yeah, you're a half man, half woman, so go fuck yourself. Yeah, and then like, bam, uppercut or something. Suck I think your that would have been really, dick. that would have been really good. Uh, yeah. you go fuck yourself. You're a half man, half woman. And when I, thought, I don't know. I thought it was clever. <laughs> clever well, than what they came. It was better than what they came up with. Head to knees and blow yourself. 
buddy. <laughs> you know? Something like that. Oh, and we get a oh yeah, we get a tit shot, real boobs. Gene, someone's boobs, not 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 Gene Simmons' real boobs, but uh, some somebody, some poor girl, not his boobs, some but little, somebody's some boobs. little A's, because there was there was a boob. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe it could have been man boobs. Somebody sat in for the boob shot. Yeah, it was a double. You know, uh, they weren't mine. But they looked similar. Uh, John Stamos bites one. Yeah, he does. He bites his tit. To get out of uh, Stamos on top of him. You don't fair. You don't fight fair at all. You're a tit biter. <laughs> I want to ask John Stamos about this movie now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, I want him sitting next Dude, to me. Dude, we always do this every movie we, we watch. All these bad movies. Like we're like, this is the movie. I people want to walk about. up to Tom Hanks and they want to talk to him about Forrest Gump. We want to talk to him about Bachelor Party. Yeah, you know, I mean, fucking, seriously, or Turner and Hooch or some shit like that. You know, like, I, I don't people care. see John Stamos, like, they're like, oh, hey, what was it like working on Full House? Like, hey, what was it like biting how was fucking... Gene Simmons, yeah. How does his tit taste? <laughs> you know, what was it how like was... to fuck Vanity? Yeah, like, I'm all, I like to ask him about Vanity. These, these are the questions that the folks answers. here at Video Rangers Podcast ponder over all weekend. <laughs> and then record a show for you. <laughs> if we had these answers, we people might actually start listening. Oh, yeah, we'd be Huge. <laughs> huge. <laughs> By the way, shout out to the two people in Vietnam that are downloading this podcast. Yeah, Vietnam. We, th- we salute you. Vietnam, man! <laughs> oh my God, the volume went off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking Stamos is now, he does, Ragnar does get the better of him. And Stamos is hanging from the, uh, the, the dam. And he's uh, fucking Vanity is circling. Smacking his hands. Yeah. Vanity circling Vanity's around in the, helicopter. in the helicopter with a fucking hand cannon the most instead of a rifle. She has a, a giant pistol with a scope on it. Yeah. Granted, like, what could, could take out an elephant, but <laughs> if you're going to be shooting at somebody from a helicopter, you don't bring a handgun. You know how close you got to get to somebody? And this is the, like the worst cliches. He's hanging from a dam, and he, hey, I think you're beautiful, John Stamos says to... uh. Which is all Ragnar wanted Ragnar. to hear. And like, he just and wants he to be loved. he goes in for the kiss, and he he stabs uh, Ragnar with his own finger. But it's just like, oh, oh yeah, the hey, finger. I think you're beautiful. You old, you old. Oh, he loves me. I love him. Yeah. And he does. He wraps the fuck his, falls for this shit. <laughs> but it, he wraps his fucking legs around him and throws him off the dam. And you just see this fucking cardboard body just fucking hit every <laughs> rock for, on the way down. Wait, wait, I love that it's a dummy dressed as Ragnar. Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous what he's wearing. <laughs> and we get to see this awful fucking outfit. There were probably campers along the water like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> but the fucking bomb is still ticking away. And you oh, can't figure it out how to scene. shut it down, right? So, so we're fuck, just going to blow it up. Yeah. So Vanity throws him the fucking flamethrower. And yes, the flamethrower's back. The flamethrower grenade launcher thing, it, it is some weird thing. Cause he's, anyway, he's, in the beginning, he says how if you don't... Um, it could blow up in the room. It could blow up if you don't mix yeah. the chemicals with it together yeah. or something correctly. Uh, so he tries to blow it up and a little like canister pops out. Like, doesn't do like, it. He, like it's done before a couple times where it doesn't work. He makes like a perfect. This is like impossible. It's not impossible, but it's very it's fucking difficult. difficult. This is like one out of a fucking if you're ten a, thousand. You're gonna make this throw. If you're in a pinch, you're not gonna try this move. Throws the briefcase and the computer up in the air, and throws the other thing up in the air, and they and they smash into each other and they blow up. And the world is saved. Honestly, if even if they both hit each other, they probably just bounce off each other. Yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't exactly blow up. Anywho, that's fucking. Uh, you see Ragnar. They were too young to die. Yeah. Well, you see Ragnar <laughs> floating at the bottom of the dam. Yeah. Well, you see his oh, coat. You don't see him. You see his coat. Um, I almost thought we were gonna get a Masters of the Universe ending. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the credits. Uh, I'll be back, <laughs> he man. Uh, so then you get the old like, all right, let's congratulate our heroes, and yep. they they offer him a job as young agents. Yeah. And uh, John Stamos is like, fuck that. I've been shot at enough for this week. I'm going to get out of here. And Not do you have a car me, I can borrow? Yeah, we need a car. They don't have a car. <laughs> or they can't give him a ride in the helicopter, apparently, either, and drive him home. <laughs> they give him a fucking um, a dune buggy. Well, this is the, the the bad guys are running in that dune buggy. I know. Well, that's that what they give him. Yeah, so they confiscate They just take it. that. It's not, they're going to get pulled over on the way home. It's not um, street legal. No, it's not. And those tires are bald. Uh, yeah, they're pretty bad. So Cliff drives. John Stamos says, "Peace out. See you later." 
uh, they and they turn around. They drive away, but then turn around, come you gotta back. Pick, and, you gotta get. I gotta pick up. I my, need. I need vanity in my life. Yeah, I gotta pick up my lady. Who doesn't need vanity in their life? Yeah. He's like, I figure, you know, I can get a few extra fucks out of her at least. Yeah. To, like dump her to the, kick her to the curb, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, because only a couple years later, man, Becky comes along. Uh, oh, never too young to die. Yeah. And, they drive off with some witty banter. And at you the guessed end. it. Gene Simmons said that line in the movie. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Because only. Mostly bad movies say the the name of the movie in the movie. Oh yeah, you got I always that always bugged me as a kid. When I know they say the when they say the name. I know of the you're movie. not a fan of that. I always enjoy it when they do that. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's why it's well, called that. You know what? It, I, I, sometimes I it's like, oh god, really? Other times it's like, well, I think cause I know it's coming, and I'm like, I find it funny. I, I think sometimes they do it as like some type of like uh, well, sometimes I always, a marketing. Well, issue, I always right? had it, the theory that at, they didn't. When you're, you don't know the name of the movie yet. Sometimes you don't. Yeah. And you maybe you go through the script, and you find, oh, that's bam, because that yeah, that's, that's a cool sounding title, right. and it's in the movie. I'm sure that's happened several times. Yeah. Even like they've read the script before they filmed, and they read the script, and they go, oh, that line right there. Yeah. And it, this movie was just a fucking experience. I enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> It's just fucking. You got to see this, John. You got to go out right. and see the John Stamos movie with Vanity and Gene Simmons. Who I like? Okay, John Stamos is in a movie, and like, Robert England is in it. Like I would never. Have, I didn't know. Like really, John Stamos is in a movie. Oh, and Gene Simmons and Vanity and Freddy Krueger. It's just, it's just, it's a strange, strange. It, I, I love the back. A once in a lifetime cast. Rocks the silver screen. They're right about that, though. It is a once in a lifetime. They're cast. not lying. <laughs> it's fucking great. And what's cool about um, I bought the uh, Blu-ray uh, comp DVD combo from uh, Shout Factory, and one of the cool options they give you is uh, you can watch it in VHS mode, and it's got like you know like the fucked up tracking and everything. You can why not watch fucked up tracking? Why not watch a shitty movie with shitty quality at the same time? It'd be great if they just put a date in the side, like oh, a yeah. VHS recorder. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> May first, nineteen ninety one. You're watching fun- Christmas morning at the funniest home video at the Stamos house, and then fucking <laughs> Bob Saget. I want to see. Corner, I like... want to see him. I'm sure he, he, he must have filmed him fucking vanity. Is that on here? Is that a special feature? No, it should be though. I wish it was. Never too young to die. Wow. It's got that it's new, got, new plastic smell. Yeah. You, I think I can get high off it. <laughs> <laughs> never too young to die. And you're never and... too old to see this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's something similar on the back. It says, you're never too, it's never too late to see, yeah. never too young to die. Oh, I see. I didn't even know that. <laughs> they get, we think alike. Me, whoever came up with this box set. <laughs> That's fucking has, awesome. Has the director Gil Bettman done anything else? Uh, yeah, he did um, Crystal Heart, nineteen eighty six. Oh, of course. Uh, it was Who written by remember that? yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it was written by Stephen Paul, and he also wrote Double O Kid, starring Corey Haim. Oh, Double O Kid. And like, I I know some people are probably thinking to themselves, like, why have have they not done a Corey movie yet? And I'm just trying to. Th- <laughs> I got to do the. We got to do the right one. I don't know where to start. What's the right Corey movie? I don't know. It can't be one. I don't know. We'll, we'll come to it eventually. I'm sure no one's asked themselves, why haven't they done a Corey movie? I know you've asked yourself, why haven't oh, yeah. we done a I'm Corey I'm a huge movie. Corey fan. <laughs> I used to follow fucking Feldman's blog for years. But way before Lost Boys 2 was out, I was following it on IMDb trying to figure out. Weren't you like make the president movie? of the fan club? The Corey I wanted to be. Club? He just never returned my calls. She called the Corey Corey line? Yeah. <laughs> Remember hey, when the reality Corey. show was on and I didn't want to miss an episode? <laughs> I was like, I gotta be home. The Corys are on. <laughs> They're gonna make a comeback, man. You'll see. <laughs> it usually does happen, though. I know it did. A lot of actors who go nowhere and then they rise up and have a nice yeah. little, uh, like three years. I doing. I I figured they were gonna have some. At least type one of, of them. Yeah, I figured they were gonna have a comeback, and it just didn't happen. And, and now I think the window's kind of passed a little. You know, obviously. No, nah, I think it's too late. Well, it's definitely well, too. Yeah. You never know. Like, Feldman could always be an old man and play some thing and get like, yeah. bam, he gets uh, like, he does really well and just you know gets awards for it. It could yeah. happen. He could still do something. It could happen. Yeah. Yeah, like, but it's just it's not impossible. My my dreams need to. He the way he looks now, he cause he still looks hokey. I could see him being an old man and doing something. 
Yeah. Because he just still looks like, I don't know, he always just looks like an asshole to me. Like, he can own a house <laughs> in the cul-de-sac in the Burbs. He yeah. bought his parents' house. He lives there. And the fucking Klopak, Klopak uh, grandchildren come in. The Klopaks. Uh, oh, man. You're never too young. You're never too young to die. All right. So, uh... so, guess what time it is? Hey, kids. It's Absent-Minded Batman. Okay, Alfred. We got this. Joker, Riddler, and Penguin are right fucking there. They'll be locked up in Arkham before the sun comes up. You ready? Let's do this. Whatever you say, Master Bruce. Ooh, drink specials at Dante's Inferno tonight. I guess some men just want to watch the world burn. Be sure to tune in next week, kids. Same bat time, same bat channel. Well, that went well. <laughs> All right. So, um, I don't got anything else. Do you? No, I think we're No, gone. that's it. Never too young to die. I have nothing else to say. No. So, if, you've, uh, if you like what you heard here at the Video Rangers podcast, be sure to tell your friends <laughs> and let them enjoy the, the same things you're enjoying every single week. Except for one. <laughs> 26 <laughs> weeks worth of entertainment. Half a year. Oh, yeah. I can't believe we're half a year into that. Half a year. Is it half a year? 26 well, weeks. close. Yeah. 26 weeks is half a year. And there are 52 weeks in a year, so yeah. 26 weeks. Yep. Yep. I did the math. Good. I was still trying to work it out as I was talking, and I <laughs> failed miserably. <laughs> All right. And until uh, next time, if you've seen a bad movie, we're ready to believe you. I must be in a fantasy The world I own is keeping in on me But I'm gonna conquer all the troubles that I face Got to survive